my name is James Pointer and shooter behind the project A Portrait of a Wrestler and I welcome you to this our latest video looking back at Wrestlegate Pro's four-way elimination match. This is part two of two. If you'd like to go and see part one the link is in the bio below so you can catch up. We join the action straight away. Sadie Gibbs has just done a top rope thing uh, to the outside. Here we go. Um, so as the girls are on the floor uh, we see Giselle climbing the, the climbing the turnbuckle, but there we see the girls are on the floor in those funny little spotlights, which gives us this shot here. Uh, a, sort, a sort of really really quirky angle. We've turned it onto the portrait. Um, Shaq's at the top there in the in in the spotlights there, and uh, yeah, just a kind of just like a completely different feel, something completely different to that shot um, in terms of trying to get a different angle on something and using these funny little exposures from these funny little spotlights. Uh, to give us something just a little bit different. I'm trying to find the best position as Giselle goes up, 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 up to the top turnbuckle. I don't know what she's going to do. I've never seen this before. But there it is. And that's really just a case of shoot, 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 and shoot, and shoot, and shoot as, you, uh, as, the, as the images come through. So you get the top one here where she's showing off to the crowd. Uh, the second one here where she does that really really awesome turn great shape and form as we go through and then the last one there with the big hair as we descend uh, down uh, onto the onto the athletes below so we take a little time as we move the video on here to action back in the ring it's Giselle versus uh, Sadie with the other two girls on the outside we're up above the bottom rope here and a slam right into the middle of the ring and then this dang 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 there we go so this is uh, the sort of like a standing moonsault almost. A super high shutter speed, just pushed it up to 500th of a second there to try and freeze the action as best as we possibly can. And uh, yeah, just got it right in the mid flight there. So that's one of about three exposures we managed to capture there uh, of Sadie. And that's, that's just the best one with all of the shape, all of the form, the full face on there and just a really, 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 really good athletic shot. So after the moonsault, uh, Sadie's in the ring here. She goes up to the top turnbuckle to hit an even higher moonsault, assuming for the finisher here. But Shax has other ideas and she's in the ring now, throwing Giselle out, kick to Sadie. This big move in the corner. And everything's over in the far corner with everyone's back towards me. It's one, two, three on Sadie and she is out of the match. We're down to three. So we know that everything's simplified for us as a photographer here because we know that the athletes have gone down from four to three. There's less to sort of be aware of. Jamie's back in the ring here, throwing Shaqs into the turnbuckle. Now, as Jamie does that and all the actions continue on in the ring, Sadie passes us here at ringside. But again, a lot of fall off from the ring, losing about two stops of exposure. So didn't get a, a, quite a crisp enough exposure on that. So it's back into the ring. We come around here, just sneak in on the hard cam side, trying to allow for a lot of space on a nice wide angle, using the uh, using the ring mat as a little bit of stabilization here. Big suplex into the ring there. And Jamie's back up with another suplex in the middle of the ring there. <clears throat> but only the two count this time. And again, just not getting lucky on the turns of face towards us here. Um, but at that moment, we did see Giselle coming into the ring, which leads us to this shot here. We zoom into the shot. We've got a little bit of Shax, a little bit of Jamie in the foreground, just slightly out of focus because the depth of field again is at F4. All the focus is on Giselle in the far corner there and her expression with us looking uh, into this far corner here. She picks up Jamie and it's just a trade off of blows here, 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 here and here. And with Giselle's hair, we managed to capture this shot here. A nice, almost sort of panoramic and all the wild hair around her face. And we just see the details of the face just framing us through there. So I've come round uh, the side of the ring here, come back uh, opposite the hard cam to get as good an angle on this as possible. And when that knee connects, I'm there on the connection point for this image here. But I've also managed to capture the reaction from Jamie afterwards. So you're getting two shots for the price of one there, the reaction and the impact as well. Coming back to the video and background here, just sneaking on the hard cam side slightly to wait for, to see what Jamie's gonna do here from the top rope. Giselle's up, by the hair, knee to the face. Look at this, here we go. Big, <laughs> big move off the top there, which gets you your three count. And it's this shot here zoomed in, where we come round to the side. And we get that shot there. Just as she's looking over her shoulder, I've managed to allow myself a little bit of, uh, 
a little bit of space and distance just to come round this side of the turnbuckle so that when Giselle looks over her shoulder, we've got the hair backlit here for this shot, this expression and this emotion. So again, it's not necessarily moves, it's everything else. Now coming down low, I've managed to get this shot here next of Jamie in the foreground while Shax and Giselle go at it in the background. So you're telling a story, referee in the background, the beaten opponent in the foreground, and then the action continuing on in the background. So we allow Jamie a little bit of space to roll out of the ring here. And then it's a trade off of kicks between Giselle and Shax and bang, that one there. Right to the head, we've managed to capture that. Right on the impact, uh, right on the point of, uh, of, of sort of maximum expression from that move there. Coming in for the pinfall and she's super close to me there. Can you see that? And Giselle looking straight down the middle of the lens, straight into the camera. Nice close up shot there, really easy one to capture. Shooting the expressions and the reactions there, come back and just sneak on that hard cam side. So not standing on hard, on hard cam. I've just got my lens around the other side of the post, back round this way. And we've got this shot here with Shax getting up in the foreground and, uh, and Giselle you know, waiting and, and, and baiting her there in the, in the background. Miss with the kick. And then this curious little little move here. Oh, and right on the twist there. I've managed to get two shots for the price of one here. I've managed to get the little twist that, that, that we do with the underhook there where we can see Shax's face and just a twisted assortment of limbs and, uh, and arms and legs and torsos. And then the bridge there, which is a real simple shot to get, but great shape, great form. Shaq's there with a good reaction into camera. And trade off of moves. Oh, boot to the face, but it's backwards to me. It's the wrong way round. So we come round and we're trying to get reactions, but everything's turning the other way from me. All of the expressions are all turning the other way from me. So I'm just on the wrong side here. There's not enough time to run round to the other side of the ring. So you've just got to make the most of what you've got here. So we're building up to the finish of the match. Finisher on the WrestleGate logo in the middle, reversed. And bang. <laughs> DDT there from Shaxx, hook of the legs. And there's your three count for the finish. And the images we managed to capture here are this little reaction one of Shaxx against the ring ropes, but also when we swing in it, we're swinging it between both uh, opponents here to see what reactions we get. We want the reaction of the winner and the reaction of the loser. And coming around on this side, we can take this shot here to get the WrestleGate logo in the foreground and a beaten uh, opponent there in the background, just sort of twisted agony on the floor and then as Shax goes to leave we should see we come round here she goes to leave and we're just going to follow her down that rampway until she gets into these little pools of light and just this little look over the shoulder just as she leaves to capture this image here we can swing our camera back round to the ringside area uh, to capture images of Giselle with the ice pack on her back just to help tell the end of that story. So I hope you've enjoyed that video part two. Uh, if you did, uh, share it on the internet. Uh, you can follow me on the Instagram and the Twitter at Y2GymBob. It's portrait of a wrestler everywhere else. Tell your friends, tell everyone that you like, tell people that you don't like. Uh, subscribe to the channel and as ever, all the very best.